Yo, welcome back, Home Team Heroes, man. Yes, Sorry for the wait, man. It's your boy, Prez. Oh, we was down for a little bit. Yeah, it's your boy, Banks. What's going on, man? Man, it's been... Uh, before we get... Oh, how you been, brother? Man, it's been good. It's been a little, a little ride. I know you've been gone <laughs> for a little bit. Gone for a little bit. But before we jump into that, man, I want to jump into our presenting sponsor, um, Jet Life Co. Um, follow, follow them on... Um, any internet or anything or any social media, Jeff Life, Jet Life Co. And that is J E T L Y F E C O. Um, their website, J E T F Y or J E T L Y F E C O dot com. Uh, Jet Life stands for Positivity, Love, Family, and Friends with the goal to unite Chicago area through a high quality designer brand. My boy. I mean, they got flip flops, they got hats, they got t shirts, they got. Silk shirts that you want to put the little silk on, how to taco meat out one day. <laughs> they got everything you need on there, man. So check them out. Check out Reem. Check out Sean, man. Keep doing your thing. Keep going strong. All right. So uh, we're going to start off with, with big homie word of the day. Uh, this one came from actually yesterday. Today was more geared towards what we got coming on tomorrow. Uh, but yesterday, the, the message was everybody's capable of having a bad day. You know, everybody is capable of moving off of emotions, doing things that that was in the heat of the moment, you know what I'm saying? Everybody capable of making mistakes. Uh, we got to stop being so quick to cancel people, being so quick to, to act like certain measure, certain wrongs. And we got to start self-examining, self-examining ourselves before we start trying to cancel other people because we don't cancel ourselves. There's certain things that to somebody else, this is a big deal, but to you it's not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? So we can't just be so quick to cancel before examining ourselves. Uh, and then, like, like as we said, we've been gone for a while, but due to unfortunate events. But, uh, but fortunately, uh, my brother Triumph, uh, he was dealing with some, some COVID symptoms and stuff like that. Heavy man, bout, which, heavy, heavy twelve, 12 round fight. Twelve rounds. Thank God, God he made it do it, man. Hey, man, that COVID ain't no joke, man. If you out there and you got loved ones with underlying conditions, man, and, and you not really protecting them. I mean, it's one thing to, to put yourself in harm, but if you out there partying and stuff like that, please stay away from our elderly, man. Please stay away from our, you know, our grandmas and our grandfathers and, you know, people who didn't have cancer and remission, things like that. Because it's no joke, man. I'm probably the most, most in-shape person I know. And, uh, I mean, it took me down, man, for literally, like, 16, 17 days, I'm in the bed, and I, I've been, I run every day. I ain't ran, or I tried to run today, but for 17 days, I, that was the longest I hadn't ran since like 2015, like the longest streak of consecutive days without getting a run in. So, and then, you know, I'm, I'm back to like 95%, but still, it took like my lungs. My legs don't feel right. I got an inhaler. I ain't never had asthma in my life. <laughs> got a whole inhaler now. So, I mean, this is just different, man, for real. Yeah. Like, for our loved ones and, and our elderly, you know, people in our family, we got to uh, make sure we at least protecting them, make sure you at least masking up around them. Even if you got the vaccine, man, the vaccine is only to – it's only a preventative measure from get, uh, for making you get as sick as you would get sick if you didn't have COVID. But it's not going to protect you from getting COVID. It's not a, uh, a cure. It's not a – Nothing of that sort. It's just to protect you if you get it from that symptoms. And I know many people with the vaccine, double vaccinated, um, you know, diff- the Johnson Johnson, the Pfizer, they got different shots and they all still caught COVID. So, I mean, it's a proven fact that that, <clears throat> that, that vaccine doesn't, uh, it doesn't save you, man. It's not, it's not a, it's not a cure. Yeah. And just like he said, with preventative measures, I think that the biggest thing that we, we highlight and I and I I just sit on social media, you know, like I I don't I'm not of the social media. I kind of get on there to to see what the world's talking about. And one of the biggest arguments is that people don't have it, don't have the vaccine, or they do. You know what I'm saying? That's not the problem. It's the the problem is that when people people who do and don't have the vaccine are not taking the preventative measures. You know what I'm saying? Even mm-hmm. if you got the vaccine, still take your mm-hmm. vitamin D3. You like if you look it up, you know how much you need to take a day. If you if you got the mat, I mean, if you got the vaccine and you don't got the vaccine, you need to mask up. I don't care how how superhuman you think you are. If you go if you go asymptomatic and you don't even know you got it, you passing it around like that. That vaccine, mm-hmm. y'all y'all attacking people for not having the vaccine, or y'all attacking people for getting it. Y'all still mm-hmm. forgetting to do the preventative measures. Regardless, a lot of people mm-hmm. not eating that good. A lot of people sedentary. A lot. Of, so you gotta you gotta take into account of that. And we just going around 
not protecting ourselves. I know one thing y'all not going to catch me without is a mask. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and we go into situations where where we go, we put ourselves in big, big crowds and stuff like that. You worried about somebody who's not vaccinated, but you're not worried about that crowd. People getting Facts. fake vax cards, people getting out like you got to you got to protect yourself before you can protect. I mean, before you can talk about somebody else, you know what I'm saying? So that's one of my biggest things there. And, and I think that's what we need to start addressing instead of instead of throwing throwing mud towards each side. Like, yeah, they can turn the vaccine and not vaccine into Democratic. I mean, uh, political parties is either you one way yeah. or the other way. It don't make any sense. But I want that I can't say is I wasn't. I, I haven't been to the club since COVID started. I've been to the bar a couple of times, like, and just hung with a group of people, but I haven't been around <clears throat> since, since COVID started. I was usually sit stay in the house, mm. but I was, uh, let, I did let my guard down as far as when I was going to the grocery store. Once the mask mandate let up, I wasn't wearing a mask when I went to the grocery store. <laughs> I wasn't wearing a mask at work. Um, cause I work outside for the most part when I'm in the office, I'm usually by myself or around limited people. But the scariest thing is you just really don't even know how you catch it or who you caught it from. Exactly. How they even catch it. Can you touch something on, on a, a surface and catch it? Do you got to breathe it in? I mean, nobody knows, you know, the, actually how everybody's catching it. So that's the scariest thing. But, I mean, and it's it crazy because it affects everybody different. My whole household had it. And I was the only one. I'm the healthiest person in my household. And I was the only one that, that was down, you know, as bad as I was. Mm-hmm. And uh, my fiance, she only had a headache in my son's. They miss a beat. They was running around playing. So I, I don't know how it works, how it picks and chooses, or if I just got a weak immune system. It might play a part too, because my fiance working at a daycare, I always tell her, like, yo, your, you know, your immune system ten times stronger than a normal person because you were around, you know, kids are some of the most toxic, toxic people when it comes toxic. to germs. So <laughs> she in that environment, you know, Monday through Friday. So with her being in that, I feel like her immune system, she's been working there since she was like 13, 12. Because the family owned, so her immune system over the years is probably built up so high that you know a lot much, not nothing much gets them down. But anytime I get sick, no matter what, I'm down bad anyway. So I wasn't expecting nothing different. I feel you. Uh, but we gonna step into uh, we gonna leave COVID alone, man. We don't want to we don't want to keep the, the on the down downward spiral, Fact. man. But just protect yourself. But we gonna move into support, man. And when I say support, man, support is a two way street. You know, you supporting people, you want people to support you. Just like, uh, you know, if you want somebody to support your business or support your movement or even just to support you in general, whether it be in sports, you got to show the same love and support, support back um, to your fellow peers. Uh, otherwise, all we're going to do is tear ourselves down, man. We got to build each other up. Man. If we're not, if we not returning the support and, and we crying, and I see posts on Instagram, on social media all the time. You know, it, support is free. You don't take nothing to repost. But the main people, like, and, and I hate saying stuff like that. I feel like those are negative tweets or negative, you know, words. Like, I say the main people are the people. But the people be doing that is the people that only want support for them. They're not taking the time to genuinely. And then, at the same time, I want genuine support. Don't just repost my stuff because you feel like you my brother and you feel like that's what you need to do. If it don't make sense, tell me, like, bro, I think your delivery is not right. I think... You need to put more into your marketing. I think you need to don't just yes, man. Me don't just if I come up with an idea and you know it's automatically support because I'm not the same way. If it's not polished, I don't want to have my name attached to it. I don't want to put my name. That's like if you worked in the corporate world, you want to put your name on a product that's defective. You know, if you was selling defective products or anything like that, man, you can ruin your name. And I, I mean, if I, all, all you got is your name, so if you are you know want support, make sure your your product is polished. Make sure your restaurant is polished. Make sure anything you're doing is polished to a T. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. And and when people say support, it, it's funny because they want limited support. So you you want a lot of support in one area. Mm-hmm. If you're not if you're not confident in who you are, if you're not confident in your brand, you're not confident in in, in just your your purpose and your movement. You don't want support because nice. the moment that they give you that full umbrella of support. You 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 pick and choose what you want. So you want everybody to repost your stuff, but you don't want nobody to critique you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had it's crazy, bro. It's crazy how 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 how, how God worked. We we legit just came up with this. You know what I'm saying? So my my homie texted me today, and I told him I'm like, bro, I appreciate you because he told me like my I'm 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 targeting an audience. I'm I'm targeting the outside. 
You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And, and I was at a point at one time where I was just, I didn't want to hear too much because I, I, I felt that I couldn't be told too much. You know, mm-hmm. you can never stop learning. But here I am, like, you feel me? I'm not really, I don't trip on support. I don't trip on, um, because I want, I want that genuine. I don't want, I don't want that hug. Mm-hmm. Here you go, support. I don't want that. Yeah. I, want, I want real support. So he, he kind of critiqued me on, on my delivery with certain things and what I could do better. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I really, I, instead of me feeling away, I asked him to like elaborate. I want to know a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? How, mm-hmm. how can I? Cause that now you gave me the support now, like where do I go next? You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna take it in. Even if, even if you don't feel it, you feel me, you got to hear it. Cause this is, this, you, this is somebody that's, that's in the audience that you're giving it to, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people get mad and be like, oh, I didn't ask for your, I ain't asked for your, your advice. I ain't asked for this, but you asked for support. That's a part of support. If you only Facts. want somebody to push your stuff out and then the people who usually feel away that somebody not supporting them is because they not supporting for the right reasons. You know, if you supporting out of love, you're not looking for nothing back. So, mm-hmm. so, so now I got some job and y'all know me. I'm on, I'm on social media all the time. I'm supporting bro. You feel me? That's what I do. Yeah. That's, that, that's not in everybody. You can't expect that mm-hmm. out of everybody. You can't like some of your homies just not like that. You know what I'm saying? They just, not at and, all. And, it's, and it's tough because you got to know them. That's why you got to know people as a person. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the people Facts. who are going to support you the most are the people that ain't even that close to you. Facts. You know, so them the people that you got to look for because then the people that's going to spend that money on you, like most of the friends, and I'm sorry to say this, most of your homies look for a discount. Most yeah, of the people you facts. cool with looking for a discount, they're not the people who going to stay through thick and thin. They're going to look at, oh, hey, let me get a free joint. Like, nah. So. Nah, ain't no free. I mean, ain't no free. Like, when you starting off in the beginning, like, I feel like we get so caught up on, I don't care if, like, you sell a merchandise. If you sell something, regardless if you if you're providing a service to, to the world, to anybody, you know, you starting off small. So, you, you know, you, you're doing deals and you're doing different things in order to get your gear or get your name in different rooms. But we as a people, and I'm, I'm saying in general, soon as you say something, like nobody wants constructive criticism. Soon as you open your mouth and say, well, I feel like, you know, whoever designed, I feel like, you know, the, the quality of this shirt, or I feel like the, you know, the quality of this website, or I feel like the, you know, your message isn't isn't clear, you automatically hate it. Like it's no it's no in between. It's either you support it or you hate it. And that's not the case. Like that's why I don't like, you know, you, you hit the nail that you said the homies, you know, I don't want homies around me who don't want to support and be a part of the team. Like it, it, and, and that's a big thing to it. You know, I'm getting married and understanding if I ain't talked to you for over a year I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't justify you as, I don't justify you as a homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could go a month, I can go maybe two months without talking to a homie. But we check in, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be group chat, whether it be a phone call, you know, whether I'm driving in the car, I'm going to call a homie or I'm going to talk to him. I didn't call you plenty of times, just like, what's going on, bro? And talk to you for an then an hour just right. about, you know, what's going on. Like, if I consider you, you know, family, you know what I'm saying? Like, a homie is somebody when you see somebody calling and you look at the phone and like, okay, I'm going to answer this call. I'm going to at least shoot him a text and say, I'm going to call you right back. If it, it, people got to understand that everybody is not your homie. Mm-hmm. People people look at your phone call and I ain't get it, bro. You see them in the, at the party, you see them the next place and they want to act like everything all good. Like, nah, they only want to be around when, it, when, it's, when it's convenient or when you up. When you up, once you make it to where you want to go, once you get that brand, once the banks, you know, YouTube show take off, watch how many people circulate back around and then it's easy for them to support. It's easy for them to retweet it. Then yeah. I said the same thing, like Meek Mill, like I could say, I can get on Instagram right now and say, or Twitter and be like, you know, you know, all the homies can't go. Meek Mill get on there and tweet, all the homies can't go. Yo, homie, that you that you know, uh, look at your tweet, read it, scroll up and retweet Meek Mill tweet. The same as that words. And, and it's because they don't believe in your message or they don't believe in your platform yet. They don't believe in you. And that's how, that's just how I take it. I just, I just feel like that's how I go. Like, and I know it's hard to compare it to a celebrity because they already out there and they famous, mm-hmm. and, you know, they got a lot more buzz, but it's just the little things like that, that I'd be peeping. Like you could say something and it's just like, it go in one year out the other to a homie, a random stranger could tell him something. And it's like, Oh yeah, that makes sense. And it, it's to me, I think it's how people value people. You know what I'm saying? How people look at people. Yeah. What I can say is that one thing is that I try not, I try so hard not to be star starstruck because these are humans. You know what I'm saying? So a message is a message. I don't care who who delivering it. And as far as like the people who 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 want to jump on a bandwagon once it's going, you know what I'm saying? I would much rather have my have my 
how the people who who don't support me show themselves right now before I get it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot harder once you get it to tell people, hey, I can't give it to you now because it is. You know what I'm saying? You already mm-hmm. know why. You, 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 feel me? you can see what you're doing right now. You know, just mm-hmm. a simple a simple play of this video right now is going to change energies, which I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? One thing mm-hmm. I can say is that with me, it's a little different because I, I'm I'm, per, I'm a person that's all, like, I'm all over the place. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when I get in my little phase where I want to create and I wanna, I'm want to going to go ghost, like, I'm about to go ghost for a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. I, I don't really need you to check in. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm not going to feel away. But but y'all but the people who know me they know me you know what I'm saying so like mm-hmm. certain people can be away from it for a while because they know like Banks not really like Banks gonna check out like he gonna he gonna check mm-hmm. in on y'all and stuff like that but he also not gonna condemn you you know what I'm saying so yeah. but at the same time like I can I can tell like when the conversation come that's how I'm gonna know you know what I'm saying what we talk about if our conversation mm-hmm. ain't fruitful then I know what it is you know like I, yeah. I, I ain't had a fruitful conversation with a lot of people in a long time you know it's still. You can't politic with everybody, yeah, man. I, I learned that. I learned that like everybody not thinking, and I learned that a lot too when I came home from college. That that they just not the same mindset. Like you grow out, of, you grow out of relationships, and it's and people don't understand that. Like you gotta, you gotta let that day away go. You can't call somebody and talk, and it's not a, you know, they not helping you grow like the conversation is, is, is a dead end conversation or a conversation that has no meaning no value no no substance you got to let people like that go like it is you outgrew them and and, and some it's, it's sad to say but people don't like to outgrow you know, in my day one i've been friends with them since i was 10 i'm like well, well he ain't 10 no more he 18 and or he 27 and he doing his own thing. y'all don't have nothing in common man like right. And I can still be cool, but as far as politicking, like, and I mean politics, that's like, different. Like, I ain't saying don't be cool. Or don't call him, say, what's up? You know, talk to him. Y'all, y'all at the club or saying you see him? Yeah. Or so like that. But politicking, like calling them and telling, because, and I know I'm kind of going off top a little bit, but you can't tell everybody your, your, your plan. Nah. Some people will piss on your plan immediately. And, and I, I had to learn that the hard way. Like when I first started, like this is my third, I went through like four different brands before I landed with home team. And, and every time I was going through my brand and, you know, it would just be different. I, would, I feel like I wasn't, like I said, it wasn't polished. So I would tell somebody my plan before it was polished mm. and let them deter me from what I already thought I should be doing because it wasn't polished. It wasn't real. It wasn't something tangible. It was just an idea. So you got to be careful who you tell your ideas to because they'll they'll twist it. You know what, what they say in uh, is that if yeah, it twists and nays and traps for food, yeah, for traps for food, like yeah. they, they do, it happens all the time. What's so crazy too is that uh, what I what I had to learn, bro, and I know y'all know me, like whoever know me, I'm I, like I went from a not talker, like an observant person, to mm. a talker, like hence me doing podcasts and stuff, yeah, but. But God had to put me in a in a slowdown. You know, he was like starting mm-hmm. out, and I said it in one of my one of one of the messages he gave me, and I put it on Twitter is that we tend to control conversations because we we get all this knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we start getting the sauce, and we want to get the sauce so bad, but we we got to start understanding what people what people at. You know what I'm saying? Before mm-hmm. you can try to make somebody understand you, and that's one of my mm-hmm. that was one of my biggest triggers is that. I was trying to get people to understand me so bad. And, and I, I saw this video about Lauren Hill and that's what changed my whole mindset. It's pinned on my uh, Twitter right now is that she, she was, she used to pray for people to understand her. And she said she changed her prayers for them, for her to understand them so she can minister to them better. You know, and that's, that's, that's what Thanks. I, that, that no longer is a trigger for me. And that was a lot mm-hmm. of my, my issues because I was in, I was in a room with people that I, I wanted so much better for them. I'm, I, I want to talk about this type of stuff. And I, and I try to pick and try to get you to get it, get it out of you. But, now I notice that um, me being quiet and letting them lead the conversation tells me what what's on their mind and what's on their heart. Mm-hmm. And if all you can talk about is females and 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 money and like, bro, it's it's so much more to life. And you know, I can't I can't just Facts. really be in that in that. And it's and it's still all love, but I, it's it's just something about our, our, our it's something about our culture that if we not if we not cool how we used to be cool, it's possible beef. Like, but I don't get yeah. that, bro. Like, like, yeah, like, I'm, I don't fit you. You know what I'm saying? If anything, yeah. I'm, let, I'm letting you break up with me. You, you feel me? Like, yeah. like, but it, it still got to be smoke behind that. You know, it ain't no smoke. Yeah, world, right? yeah I, and, and that's that's the crazy, that's the crazy thing. Like, people don't understand that everybody grow. And, and, and my thing is, I'm gonna always show love. 
Like, but if, if we go separate ways, man, we go to different schools, whatever the situation may be, like, it's still love. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm still going to see you. I'm going to say, what's up? I'm going to do the same thing. But as far as me kicking it with you and stuff like that, it's kind of different. But everybody not ready to step into that, into what you're saying. Like, you said you're trying to, you in rooms where people not ready to listen. And as a leader, you got to understand. That's why, I'm like, I don't ever want to get an old head. Like, like and even me now, I'm coaching. I'm coaching younger kids. I'm coaching. But the crazy thing is I'm coaching kids in my same high school that's going through the same stuff Bet. that I was going through. Like, so it's so funny now that I'm older and I'm more mature because I was wild in high school. So I'm, I'm more mature and I can literally, I'm, I'm talking to them. I'm not preaching. That's, that's what I feel like people, people, people mess up. And when you preach to younger kids, that's, that's my target audience and forever will be the target audience. Cause that's the only people they can say was like, they, they coming up, they, they are. The, the generation before uh, or after us and after us are the only people that can save it. So I'm not talking. Now, as I tell you, when I'm talking, I'm not talking to, I'm not talking to the older people because you, you're not going to change your old head mind Facts. about what's, what happened. You're not going to do that. So there's no point in even trying. But when you're talking to younger kids or you're talking to people around your same age, you can't preach to them. No, as soon as you start preaching, they meet, and I'm not talking about preaching like Sunday church and he prays. I'm talking about preaching like you tell them like you're doing it wrong. You need to do it like this. This how we did it. They don't, they don't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. bro. Like you got to come from the heart. You got to be genuine. Like look, look, bro. I've been through what you've been through. Look, look, I did the same thing. Your grades bad. Why well, you got an F? I know you got an F. Have you done no assignment? I know you haven't done an assignment because if you do all your homework, you they gonna at least give you a D or a C. Ain't no way you got a flat F. You got a flat F. You're not doing nothing. I'm talking to them in in, in, a, in a way they understand it. Right. And I feel like a lot of times schools, you know, people, they put people around people in, like in youth lives. They don't understand them. If you don't understand them, there's no way you can teach them. There's no way you can relate to them. Like you coming from, and, and it's sad to say, but you might be coming from money or something like that. And you talking to a kid, a single, single mom household, with a whole different, when he leave practice, he don't got no, it ain't no steak and mashed potatoes at home. Like you got to understand your audience on all levels. All right. I'm glad you said that. Lauren Hill, and Lauren Hill was like, I respect Lauren she Hill so crazy because she was a different, she was ahead of her time as far as her thinking and, and, and her patterns and just how she moved. Like everything was calculated. All right. Like she disappeared. Like, cause she, yeah, like, yeah, I mess with Lauren. I mess with Lauren. Yeah, and this is like that's the thing. Like you said, like it's 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 a difference when you when you preaching. Like it's 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 kind of it's kind of you get resistance. I hate like I don't like when people try to t like tell me what to do. You. you know what I'm saying? It's like ask me. Like you didn't even try. Like it's it's I hate when people give me advice and they don't even understand me yet. You know what I'm saying? So that that was the biggest thing that that used to get to me. And and I, but I found myself doing it to others too though. And what I had to what I had to learn is like legit. You have to. Another thing that I hated too was that people would ask me questions, but it wasn't that they wasn't asking. They wasn't. It wasn't because they was asking questions. They was asking the wrong questions and with the wrong delivery. So just a simple question of are you asking like what I what do I mean instead of like mm -hmm. like why are you doing that like you know what I'm saying that's completely yeah. different because yeah. now you you you're coming from you coming from understanding and then you coming from revoking. You know what I'm saying so. Yeah. I had to learn that, and I had to learn yeah, like man. when I'm 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 a real passionate individual, and I, I'm working on it now. Like me doing this and, and and my facial expressions and stuff like that, you you got to learn how to control that because people can misunderstand yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? And that was Facts. one of the biggest things that was called stuff. Like, and I, I I really didn't notice that. Like people would tell me that, but you feel me? I'm like, nah, that's just how I am. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to nah, grow I, outside you said, of that. You you just describing me to a T, bro. Yeah. Like my, I got a natural resting, like what they call it, a natural resting bitch face. Like I naturally, like I don't be mad. Like if my mom even breathe, like why you got an attitude for it? Like I don't got an attitude. Like I just get in the mode. Like I get in the mode where I just don't want to talk. And I feel like a lot of it is because I'm so creative. Like, but like I'm a, uh, I forgot I did this little test at work where it told me what my uh, personality is called. Dish training. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm an ID, which makes me like explosive, energetic. Like you give me a task, I'm going to attack it immediately, but I don't plan it all the way out along the way. So that's why I like, I try to work on making sure everything is polished before I do something, because I know this, like I'll do it. Like, I, like if anybody know me, I do like 50 different things. Like I coach boxing, football, right, right. Like, 
Like what are, like, what are, like any different like any different tasks like you put me in, I'm gonna do it. Like and I'm gonna do it to the best of my ability. But I get to the point where if something don't go right, I shut down. Like if I got an idea and it just busts, like like the first couple brands I had, like they busted, like or just anything like it can ruin my whole my whole drive, like it'll shut me down to a point and it, it won't be a long period of time, but it'd be long enough to where everybody knows it's affecting me. So just have to learn how to like balance that with support. Cause I feel like, you know, the su- support go a long way with like, if you got a friend that's that same way. I find it's another thing we don't do in, like amongst our crews and most people is learning our personality traits, learning what we need to help somebody around us grow. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like taking tests like that stuff is like, we don't do stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So we think stuff like that corny in our, you know what I'm saying? Corny or, or not cool. But if you know, so if I know, you know, Banks, he, he needs something a week in advance so he can get it polished right. You know, whoever else is in the crew, I know, he, you know, he's going to, you know, what he's like, what, what he wants to do or what he doesn't like, you can win. That's how you make your team win. Right. You understand what everybody on the team can do instead of, uh, you know, just thinking everybody's like you. Nobody's like you. You can't. And I, I used to get that mode too. Like, I don't want to do nothing with nobody because I don't want to be on nobody's time. I don't want to do nobody all right because I don't want them not to do it or have the same energy as I had. But I had to understand that they have the same energy. If somebody's passionate about something as much as you is, like, you know, I hit you up about the podcast. It was easy. Like, bro, you want I didn't, I didn't have to twist your arm. I didn't have to. Right. I didn't even have to. I didn't have to explain it to you and say, this is what we're going to do. We didn't jump into it to say, let's make money. Like, it was just something like, let's pick up the mic and tell a story. And you was like, bro, let's do it. Like, that's how you know it's genuine. Yeah, and that's that's because, like, when you can, like I said, it's certain things, like, when you have conversations and stuff, you can see where people hear that. And, I, and, and without us even saying it, like, really actually saying it, we already was geared towards the, the next generation. You know, this generation is, is what is what's, I wouldn't say what's the problem, but it's the, it's the product of what the generation above was. The problem, the, the the good thing that I can say about this generation now is that we we got way more focus on on self, on like on on, on black excellence and, and mental financial health and literacy, stuff like that. Like we're doing a lot better with that, but mm. it's it's in competition. So just like Facts. we had we had not we got our we got a little a little shift right here where we say um, it's the difference between like competition and 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 you know being in the same in the same avenues. But not going like you feel me, not not stepping on each other's toes, you know. Toes. So, as far as us going into into business aspects and stuff like that, like you were saying, you you said that we should not, uh, and this was before the podcast, we should not be, we never should be geared towards the same exact direction in the same exact lane. If we doing yeah. that, then we should be teamed up. You know what I'm saying? Especially if we in the same definitely. circle. So definitely. So so yeah. what's your what's the your thoughts ones. on that? So like I, I say like it like. First of all, like, I'm, I'm real selective on, I'll say, who part of my team. Like, if you're on the team, like, if you're on the team, you somebody that I genuinely, I, I politic, I got a politic with you. Like, you you somebody in my circle. So we both, if we both want to do, uh, say we both want to do a clothing line, or we both want to do, hell, we both want to sell, uh, resell sneakers. We both got, or I want to do it, or you want to do it. But instead of working together, we both got a passion for it. And we talk to each other every day. We, you know, you in my circle. Instead of building a team and doing it together, we both make separate brands, separate logos. Now we stealing customers from each other. We both know the same people. We both in the same circle of people. We both gonna reach almost probably the same crowd because we got the same followers. We got the same Instagram, Twitter followers. What's so wrong with jumping on your friend's team and playing a role? What's so wrong with playing a role? Like everybody is so scared to be Robin. Everybody's so scared to be Cool Coach. Everybody want to be Jordan. Okay. Everybody got to be LeBron. Everybody got to be Kobe. But you got to understand, like you might have somebody on your team. He just God given has like you got somebody on your team that's a God given football player. You know for sure he's God given. You not, but y'all best friends. Why, why would you not say, hey, bro, I know you, we know you're going to the league. Let me go Let me go be your age. That's why I respect Brian so much for how him and his crew move. Mm-hmm. Like, you watch LeBron crew or watch LeBron story, they all hoop together. They still talk to this day. That's rare to find where you got five dudes all on a different life, you know, all in different lives doing different things. One of them go do this. One of them go do that. But they all 
it all, it come all together. makes sense. Yeah. It all come together at the end. Everybody's not going to the NFL. Everybody's not going to the NBA. Everybody's not the next little baby. But when they are, you got to understand that you're not the Jordan of your team. You're not Kobe. And ain't nothing wrong with that. You might be Kobe in videography. You might be Kobe in um, anything. Like, you don't know what – if you steadily if you steadily trying to compete with your homie or do the exact same goal as your homies – and you don't, you're not bringing nothing to the table. You're not bringing no value. And I see rappers talk about it all the time when they first start off rapping. They got this entourage of 10 dudes where they taking them, they paying for their food, they paying their meals, they flying them out, they doing everything. And the whole single time, the dude ain't learned nothing. He ain't picked up nothing to bring value to the team. Like, like wolves got to feed themselves. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you a wolf, you a dog, you a wolf. Ain't nobody feeding you, bro. Like, this. Dude, <laughs> this this uh, uh forgive me if I start around I'm trying to put it together real quick because I, I you went to you went to a couple places. I'm gonna start with, with the competition between brothers and it's gonna all come together preferably. So the competition between your team, you know what I'm saying? It comes to a point where where y'all both in the same lane, y'all both like you said, we both got the same type of type of crowd, we got all this, all that. But then we end up we end up picking up different sauces, different recipes, you know what I'm saying? Nice. And instead of collaborating on the recipe. We keep the recipe nice. to ourselves because we want to be Mike. We want to be Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But they also not thinking about what Mike and Kobe was doing in practice. You know what I'm saying? Kobe and Mike yeah. was punching on their teammates, trying to get them mm -hmm. work ethic, waking them up at 5 a.m. Yeah. You got to create yep. other Kobe's if you want them. And then, then at that point, if you if, if they not rocking with you, that's when you cut them. You know what I'm saying? You just giving mm -hmm. them a little bit, uh, giving them some bread here, giving them some bread that. You want to be Kobe and Mike so bad, but you you not you not creating. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you can lead like they say. You can lead the, that old thing. You can lead the horse to the water. You can't make them drink. Yeah, but drink. Like you legit got it. You got to set up a system where the where the water can keep flowing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it, it, everybody not like you can be that Kobe. You know what I'm saying? But you you need people on your team that can create them other Kobe's. So like everybody want to be that man. You can't just be that man and not be prepared to to make it happen because you want to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? Like Facts. it's not group. Like we don't think in it as a group no more. And, and that. If y'all ever catch me doing something like that, like like get me out the paint, bro. C call me out because I, I'm not thinking for myself. Like, and I think that's the point where the moment that I was able, and I, I said it on the last podcast, like that selflessness. The moment that I took myself out of my own body and, and, and thought as a group, you know what I'm saying? That's that's when I started getting the right ideas, bro. Everything that I was doing for myself failed. Everything failed. You know what I'm saying? I was up. I was up heavy. Everything yeah. everything gets snatched when you when you ain't doing it for the right things, man. Facts. Facts. I, I agree with you. Now, I read something where they said A list, and they said A list people or uh, A people or A uh, managers, like saying in, in a job site, A managers hire other A A managers or, or hang with other A people. B people hang with D, C, F people because they want, they so scared of the A. They're so scared of somebody else outshining them or somebody even being on the same level with them. Mm -hmm. So when I'm when I'm talking about I don't want nobody around me. Like I said, it's not an A. If you're not an A, if you're not thinking of things, if you don't got other things going, if you're not hitting me up saying I'm about to jump in this avenue or, or, or do this or you know, I don't I don't feel like you bring value to my team. Exactly. Not well, at least trying to be an A. Like Yeah, like I need people around me who hey, I need people around me who gonna say, Hey Shay, yeah, I'm I'm doing this. Let's invest in this. Call me and tell me what we what, what we can invest in. Call me and tell me what you're trying to do, and I, I might can put a you know tag a name or be a silent partner or whatever it may be. I don't need to be the only A. I don't I don't want to be an alpha wolf with a pack full of, and and it's hard and putting that term because you know alpha wolves beef so much. But I I love that competition, and that's just my leadership show. I've learned that growing up that I need that competitive in my life. Like if you put me around competitors it turns me up, like, no matter what. If right. I'm at work, I, I take the same energy to work. Like, I, I do safety. You did, uh, she did 10 audits this week. I'm doing 15. Right. She did this. I'm doing 20. And it's not, and I don't use it as a negative job. I use it as a positive. Because at the end of the day, if, you, if your team can find a way to compete comp uh, on a positive way and not a negative way, your team would be great forever because y'all competing for the growth of the team. Right. So I'm not saying I'm not talking about competing in the same lane. I'm talking about the point of being able to compete. Like, okay, all right, uh, all right, Banks, you got the catering business. You done brought in thirty thousand this month. I got the, uh, you know, I'm selling electronics or something. I didn't brought in. I got a top what he bringing in. That's how you compete. Same thing in school. If you got a group of friends, y'all doing grades. You y'all all athletes on the football team. 
put a party in, compete for them grades. Facts. I guarantee you, you will bring the best out of some of the worst students because they're gonna apply themselves. Facts. I need A. Like if you if you in a team and your team look around at your team, if your team ain't all A's, fix it. I'm telling you, you don't want to build a team where you carrying a deal with ends. But some people you gotta be aware. Some people love that. Some people, some people love the fact that they can talk how they want and can control their team mm -hmm. to the team. That they can say, "No, nah, I'm, I'm better than they." And if you notice, you probably around. You might be in a group with an A, and he 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 he, he shit on y'all all the time. You know, he talk crazy to y'all all the time, and it's and you might think he playing. He put a little laughter on it, but he really not playing. He understands that he's an A. He understands that he's an alpha, mm -hmm. and he understands that you don't have the confidence, you don't have the self esteem. To cut to jump to an A, so he he keeps y'all around to just keep boosting and sucking all the energy out of y'all to stay at an A. That's all he does. Right, and that's that's crazy because at the end of the day, and and, and this this is where 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 I ain't, I'm not trying to go too deep into it, but like when people be thinking like, oh, why did this person got money? He he an evil person. Why do that person got this? Why do that? It's because at the end of the day, an A is an A. You know what I'm yeah. saying? An A is gonna be an A. Facts. Whether they lose it or not, like people go bankrupt and come right back. You know what I'm saying? A is an A. That's in their DNA. That's that's what their mindset is. But the thing is, not every A is is able to transfer the A the A mentality to other people. Cause some A's, some A's are stroking their own ego. They don't. They not. Facts. They not. I'm. I like <laughs> like the the work world. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, yeah. I'm not trying to get too deep. But the work world, most CEOs, they not they not creating other A's. They they creating mm -hmm. a system to where you rely on that A. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And you want to work up from a from an F minus and you think you had an F minus, you really had a Z, but it's it's so many steps you gotta take to even get to a C. And, and you're mm -hmm. talking about you wanna be an A. You know, some things aren't just transform uh, some things aren't transferable. Some people are not transferring that 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 issue. You know what I'm saying? That nice. that that drive, that mentality. Like I, I I wanna get to a point where I can be contagious. You know what I'm saying? Where mm -hmm. where I can give you the sauce. I don't I don't want the sauce for myself. I want to see the better for everybody. You know what I'm saying? But if you nice. if you're not trying to if and if you're not trying to turn into that, you know what I'm saying. At that point, now you're you're, you're becoming a dependent. So I can't I can't really. If you're not my my family, and some and some family, some family, you got to cut off too nah, because it's not it's not nah, healthy family, for your growth. Family be worse. And, family and it, can almost be worse. That'd be hurtful. That'd be hurtful. Yeah, family. Is, I don't know what it is, but family is a very jealous place. Like I'm telling you, like family, when it comes to building a team and things like that, it's so hard to do it with family. And I don't know why, you know, because family want to discount more than friends will ever want to discount. Family going to work 50% less hard. I mean, 50% less than, you know, somebody you hire off the street. You know, even in, you know, I've seen her stories and seen videos of people owning property, renting it to their family. Family don't want, you know what I'm saying? So family take advantage of you. I'll put it like that. And I, that's not all family, but family is more you know, more likely to take advantage of you in a, in a business situation because they feel like we family, you know, he's not going to trip or we family, it ain't that deep. You know, he going to get, you know, that's that type of situation where family got to understand that, you know, we got to be all on the same one accord as well. But like, even with building an A, like, I feel like that's what, you know, what God gave me, like, my person, like, I know how to push somebody buttons to understand what they want to be. Exactly. And, and, and I don't get along. And I'm fine with that. I, I've come. I'm so fine with that. Like, I don't get along with certain people if I can't be myself around. I'm not gonna change who I am to be around you. If I can't be an A around you, and that's me being competitive. That's me. I'm gonna talk crazy. Like we playing sports, we playing a game, we doing whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do me. Like, I, like I do it. Win or lose, though. I'm not somebody who loses and then all of a sudden I can't take the heat. I'm not that type of person. But just my personality overall is very dominant. Um, when it comes to anything, like I'm not, uh, I'm not scared of that, of that, that A role. So I got a so, question then. So, so, so since we talking about A's and, and A's, A's sometimes are hidden, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people aren't in the A spot, but they like, they had like a C or a D because of situations and stuff like that. Say you like, just based off of how, how like the culture is, we got a lot of, we got a lot of followers, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of people who, who don't think for themselves. Facts. So if you get a team full of, and, and, and all, it's to me, I don't know, I, I don't know about everybody else go, but to me, it's to build the community. You know what I'm saying? So if you got a team full of, if you got a, a if you're trying to make a, a community full of C's, let's say C's become an A, 
and you giving the sauce, mm-hmm. you giving the recipe, you you doing your part, you understanding them, you trying to figure out where they at, you trying to figure out what work for them. At what point do you let your hands go and be like, hey, it's 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 I can't I can't I can't invest no more. You know what I'm saying? So so I'm gonna switch. I'm not switching gears, but so being at a, you know, what I'm saying you a leader. You know you a, and you you know you top tier. You know you top echelon. But switching back to this dish training I was talking about. When you take the disc training, it puts you into different categories. So a D is basically like a, a, a di- not a dictator, but you you know you got that A personality of being strong. You know you gonna get your point across. And then the I is like a energetic person. So I'm a mix. So I'm right on the line, but I'm a I first. Uh, so it wasn't it wasn't level from A B C D like 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 the grades. Now when, I, now when I first talk about that, I was talking about A B C D when I was talking about that. But I'm just trying to break down that right, what I'm talking about. All right. So with the uh, the I and the D means that I'm a very energetic, upbeat, but I'm also a, I got that dictator type of side in me. And then you got your C and your S. Your C people shy away from the A's. If we revert back to what we talking about A B C D, and the S is support. So you got to understand when you're building a team, ain't nothing wrong with – now, there's something wrong with, with being a D or an F on that scale, but ain't nothing wrong with being an S where you, you're more supportive. Like, you don't like confrontation. You don't you, – you wouldn't be a good CEO or a good businessman where it comes to the point where you got to come to the table and negotiate, but you somebody that's good with the paperwork in the back. So you got to understand, but you're going to still be an A at being an S. You're going to still be an A at being supportive. Are you gonna still be an A and C's? They sit back like my boss is a C, and he's an A. He's a he's a a, a, a great boss, but he's a C. Like so, he keeps me checked and balanced because I'm an ID. So he gives me. He says, "Shaq, I need you to, you know, give me some toolbox sauce. I need you to give me this this stuff done by this day." And I'm boom. I'm immediately attacking it. I'm not thinking about the plan. I'm not thinking about who else I need to involve. He keeps me on track by saying, "Okay, Shaq, hold on now." Before you get started, did you reach out to this person? Because he knows once he gives me the thing, I'm just going to execute. Because that's all I'm thinking about is the execution. Mm. So once you put your team together, yeah, you want to all be A's, but you need to understand he might be an A that's supportive. He might be an A that's very outspoken, like like how Jordan was an A, but he was an a asshole. Like the way he pushed his team. And there's nothing wrong with pushing your team. Like I, I see people argue about that all the time, like LeBron. But, it, I mean, the generations are getting – I wouldn't even say softer, but the generations are changing. Kids don't respond. to If Jordan was to come back now and try to lead a team of 21-year-old players in the NBA, it, he wouldn't, it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't work. The, the, we don't respond to that. Like, I feel like that generation of people kind of died off. Like, that's why I feel like LeBron is so successful because LeBron is an A and he understands, okay, I got Mo Williams. He's an A, too. But he's an A at just shooting. So I'm going to put him in position to where he can just shoot the ball. I got Ilgowskis. He's decent around the rim. You know what I'm saying? Like, he understands the role, whereas to where Jordan and Kobe was just like, you a bum if you're not hooping to my caliber. If you're not growing as hard as I am, if you're not in the gym when I'm in the gym, then you're not an A. And, and, and LeBron understands that people have different – people can be A's but have different tendencies. So if I was a leader building a community, I would look for people's strengths first to bring out the A and whatever their strength is. The same thing we were talking about when building a team, um, understanding what your homie's strengths are. If you don't understand what your homie's an A in, how can y'all, you know, how can you ever put him in position to win? Because like somebody cannot be good at managing money and you throwing your money, you you got your homie managing a business or something like that, and you wonder why I go under. You looking at him like he ain't applying himself, but you set him up for failure from the jump because he was never an A in money management. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Like. He might be an A in marketing. He might have been an A in you know social media, but it wasn't money. But you didn't understand, so you you're a bad you, you know you're the bad A because you ain't understand that before you put him in that in that role. I feel that, like. and I think I think one of the biggest things too is that it's it's entitlement gets in the way. Entitlement and emotion gets in the way with a lot of a lot of business and a lot of just growth as growth period. Because when people think they're entitled to your time due to the due to the relationship that you got with them and stuff like that, everybody. Now that I think about it, bro, like and, I'm, and you saw me, I was I was spacing out when you was talking. I wasn't spacing out; I was really listening though. But like, I just came to the realization that like a lot of people, a lot of people can't come along for that type of ride. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to be able to let them go create in their own environment. You know what I'm saying? So like 
the 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 question I was asking more was was towards like uh like when when do you just stop like you gotta just you gotta you gotta cut ties with them because it's not it's not a it's not a healthy it's not healthy for you building yourself and then it's it's more of a cr- like a uh not even a crutch I'll say more of a of a leeching type environment but that just kind of only time I would what? my bad I mean cut you the only good. time I would cut ties is if they not like I said if I, if I lose the ability to be able to politic or they lose the drive in themselves if they don't get hype off of seeing me win or seeing somebody else in our circle win and they pushing them, they bring ideas. That's the only time I'm going to cut ties where they, where they become too toxic, toxic. to the yeah. situation or they just become a dead weight or, you know, you, and you peak that long before that happens. Cause you understand, like, I, I, I went like, I, like I, when I started making money and I mean, I make decent money. I'm not a millionaire. I'm not, I'm decent. But like when I started making money, certain people would just like, I come around and be like, and you big time, bro. You you like you know you miss your money, huh, huh, huh. But I I had to realize like that's really a shot. Like you got to realize that he really not. He you know saying? Your Every time he's yeah, he counting your pockets. He's really mad that he not in that position you in, or he mad, you know that he's doing a he went a different route. So just uh, you got to watch out for the signs. But I say I wouldn't cut him off okay. unless uh I wouldn't cut him off unless they just genuinely gave up on. Once you give up on yourself, then I ain't got no choice but. But to give up on. And I think that the tough part for me is like because I'm trying to I'm trying to translate that to, to how I'm living, you know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 very rare to run into people who like because you at right now the way that li- that life set up in the in the in the economy that we live in, it is very it's heavily money based. It's heavily because you you gotta make you gotta provide, you know what I'm saying? But like I shifted to a point where like I don't even want to talk about money. So like like it it be it be tough for me to have conversations with people when it's not even about that, you know what I'm saying? So like, it'll be to a point where like, like they'd be like, "Bro, why are you always trying to talk about this type of stuff?" Because that's who I am, you know what I'm saying? But Damn. when I get that resistance, it's like, it's like they can't really understand. Like they like yet again, like I said, I, they can't really understand me. So I'll be trying to understand them and, and figure out like how can I how can I present myself to them to let them know like, hey, this is who I am. Because I'll much, yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'd much rather you cut me off than me have to cut you off because. You just not getting it, you know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. I'm trying to get you. I'm trying to get you. Yeah. And like, it'd it, it be like it'd be people who comment on my um, who comment on like how I'm moving, you know what I'm saying? And and I'm cool with that. I'm so I'm so secure in what I'm doing. But it it like you said, like yo 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 talk when people be like, I see you big money. Uh, yeah. when people be like, oh, I see you preacher, or you you can't go out no yeah. more because you do it. But I be out. Yeah. I be out. Y'all just Facts. y'all just don't understand. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't see me. I don't post like that no more. I don't do that. I be out. But it's a difference between like acting a fool how I used to. You know, I'm I'm not I'm in that environment and I can be in that environment, but I'm not of that environment. You know what I'm saying? Right so anymore. so yeah, I, you grew out. You, I mean, you change and you adapt yeah. and you evolving. And people don't understand. And, and it, that goes back to the, when I was talking about like meat meal post something, and you post something. I went vegan in 2015, maybe yeah, a while ago. And what, what everybody on campus shit. Crazy, you eat grass, you do this. I mean, I went through the ringer. I ain't never. I did that. I said that to you one time too, for sure. Yeah, everybody, bro. And then here we are. Here we are. It's twenty twenty one, and all I I kid you not, almost every person who gave me the most, like the most, they talked the craziest to me, are all vegetarian or vegan. So that, that, that just lets you know, like once you once you start changing or you do something new, that people people scared of new stuff. People scared of. People scared of when you changing, and they see you changing, and they not changing. They still doing the same thing. When they see you start changing, that's when they be like, "Okay, th- th- he something going on. Let me try to bring him back down. Let me bring him back to reality." And, and when people realize they couldn't do that, I was losing so much weight. I was, I was people are like you look skinny. You too skinny. I'm like, bro, I'm happy. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm working. Like you can't take my joy. But you know, if I sit here and, and revert. Like, you fat. Like, you want me to be fat, too? Like, bro, like, is that what you trying to say? That's how I took it. Like, you want me to be fat, too, because you fat. That's the biggest like, thing, no, too, bro. bro. Like, I ain't going to lie. That's the, bro, that is the, like, the most. I would say that's one of the biggest blessings I received, bro. Being able to be like, man, like, you can say whatever. And it's cool. Yeah, it's, yeah, like, and it, it's, cool, it's so crazy. Like, I, I run into situations where people would talk crazy. And I, like, I don't even, I ain't even know you was feeling that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I still love at the end of the day. I'm like, I, I know where you're speaking Facts. from. I know what point you're speaking from. You're speaking from, from mm-hmm. a point of, of insecurity in yourself or, or, or your environment is beating you. You feel me? 
And instead of instead of reaching out to somebody who you feel me, I, my my situation was so my situation is still like you feel me, it's still bad. But you you never see me messing up nobody else's day. You'll never see me speaking down on nobody. Like that's not what I'm here for. You know what I'm saying? Because Thanks. the way you the way you live, like bro, the me going inherit the earth. You know what I'm saying? So like the way you 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 live your life every day, good. Like it's coming your way. You feel me? It's coming your way. Mm-hmm. You can't you can't get tricked out your spot. Like you said, you can't get tricked out your spot, bro. About yeah. somebody who's saying like things that just attack the flesh. You feel me? It, it ain't, yeah. it ain't, it ain't heavy no more. So with that, and you gotta realize that all they, that's all they want to do is trick you out. Just mm-hmm. all they trying to do, you gotta watch out for like anything. Like dudes are, I ain't saying just dudes, females in general. Like, like especially like, and I don't even want you on top of like, but like when girls got single or do dude, like dudes you got single friends and something going on in your relationship, you can't go get advice from no single no. person. They don't know what's going no. on. Or like you married, you go get advice from a shorty you've been divorced three times like Fact. i go get advice from a dude like it's not bro that, that ain't the right advice bro that ain't even somebody you know what i'm saying that they, all they gonna do is trick you just fine <laughs> i know i ain't gonna lie to you bro that's one thing and i and i think <laughs> i think right now more than anything that is like one of my biggest things that i had to stand on like at first i used to like tolerate a lot of stuff that i just didn't mm-hmm. have to tolerate because i felt like we was we was at that point you know what i'm saying we was we was locked in but get like when you hear some of the advice you get bro when you literally hear some of the advice <laughs> you get bro like and I, I just be sitting there thinking like bro you 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 gotta be kidding me bro like you'll really tell me Facts. to do something like that you know what i'm saying like Facts. you can't take advice from everybody like and it'd be some people that's like that's supposed to be your 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 your, your superior or your authority OG. yeah you know like it can't it can't it get to a point where you just simply can't listen to them because the, the results yeah. you want they ain't got how you gonna yeah, tell me how I, to make a meal and you ain't even got yeah got a meal you feel me but it is in the same aspect, like, like I'm a always, I always listen. Like, like if I, like even like I see a homeless man or I see somebody who I know ain't got more money or don't have it that much money. If they talking, I kind, I still listen to it. And before I didn't listen, I'd be like, man, you ain't, you ain't got it. like, you know what I'm saying? It's a show me world. But at the same time, you you could miss a lot of sauce by just not, just not partaking in general conversation. Right. And and. I like to on, on, on that aspect of it, but at the same time, you got to watch out for false prophets. There's so many people that want to, oh, yeah, we can do it, do this, or the con artists, or whatever right. they want to be. You got to understand, you got to understand what you're getting into and what you're really looking for. So I can agree with you. Right. That. And that, and that, like, like my biggest thing now is that I, I kind of, I, I be listening to words. You know what I'm saying? I definitely listen to words because I, I, I see, I see what they're trying to tell me. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I take heed to, I take heed, I like, I take information in. You feel me? But certain things I don't absorb. So it's a difference yeah. between like absorbing it and, and you know just hearing it. So I, but the biggest thing to me is I got to see how you act. You feel me? How you, how you act on it, how you live it? Yeah. Because a lot yeah, of people you, be trying you to on the ground preaching. Yeah. And then I see you in person, like people. I see people all the time, like especially like how I live and work out and stuff like that, like. I don't work out for the gram. Like I'm posting times. Like, like this ain't no. I'm not getting on the gram shooting a 30 second video of me hitting the dumbbells and then I'm done. I, I go do something else and I'm out the gym. So when I see people in person and they be like, "Yeah, I don't do this. I eat right." I see them out in a function and they eating crazy, <laughs> drinking crazy. I'm like, bro, like you ain't got, you ain't got, you ain't got a lot of kicking, bro. Like that's and a lot that's, of that's, that's they very that's to- that's toxic. That's tainting too because I, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I don't, I, I don't never want to mess nobody's pockets up. But if, mm-hmm. if you, if you giving out a recipe for how you got some or how you like, how your body got, how you got this bread, how you got like your mental fake right, flat tummy tea, like, man. bro, you get stop the doing that, bro. Cause you tricking, yeah, like you really bad. tainting the community, bro. Like, yeah, that's and, that, and that's, 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 that's the type hustle. of stuff that I can't, I can't tolerate. I, I'll never be around. Like if I see you, you really, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you telling us this, how you got it. You feel me? And, and you like, you trying to preach to everybody like, this is what you got to do. You feel me? You got to, you got to tell them the ugly too. You got to tell them like, yeah, yeah. hey, if you, if you, that if you true. out here working out and it's not just with, if you, if you do, if you taking these pills, these to get, to get more cut, tell them you did that. If you, if yeah. you're a shorty and you got your body right, you got a BBL, let them know that. Like, stop, stop, no. stop checking them out. They stop spot, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, for real. I mean, and that's, and that's, and that's the sad world we live in, but it's always going to be a hustler and it's always going to be a sting. And, and that's and I'm not talking about drugs. I'm talking about in any aspect of life. It's always going to be somebody hustling the information who could be giving it away, and it's always going to be somebody willing to do it. Yeah. So like, yeah, but that flat tummy tea, like them pyramid skin, y'all selling flat tummy tea. And again, who's selling the flat tummy tea? Instagram models, celebrities, 
But that's who that's who we put all our faith and in. That's trust who run me. the country, bro. Man, <laughs> like people listen to celebrities and public figures more than they listen to their own heart and gut and they own, you know, they own person. Like, uh, I'm a master of self. Like, they don't, they don't understand that. They, they'll literally let somebody else's words change their whole thought process or their whole thinking process. Hey. Like I was just talking to, uh, I mean, I'm jumping, I, I'm kind of jumping off a little bit. I was talking to Bree downstairs. I'm like, man, it ain't no more Claire Hustables, man. It, nah. It, that's gone, nah. bro. That's gone, bro. I, bro, we get kids being raised by, it's tricky, bro. No, by 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 demons, like they they be, I'm on this like <laughs> on both sides though. Like I ain't gonna lie, we like I'm scared for like like I ain't I ain't, I ain't got no fear, but like the fact that 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 our kids gotta gotta grow up where we got dudes that that glorify being demons, shorties Facts. being glorified, like women women being glorified for bro, we got for being fourteen city year girls old and and fifteen and year old girls it's tough, bro, That's running tough. around trying to act like they twenty. That's tough. Like it, it, it's 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 too it's, accessible. I like, I'm so, it's too accessible I'm so now, scared. bro. It's I too tell accessible. All my homies, they got daughters. Like, like y'all the strong. I look up to them. I'm like y'all the strongest people I know, bro. Because in this world and what I see every single day, like on social media and stuff, it's so like I be terrified for my daughter. It start at home. Though. I'm already like, they, scared. They got They got They got to take. They got so like. At the they end of the day, it's free love. will. You know what I'm saying? It's free will. Like, like no matter how how good you raise your your kids, they gonna they gonna do what they want. But it, it, I feel like, and 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 this you you can you can correct me if I'm wrong, but this is just me. You in life, if if you give your children decide, like you give them a little bit of freedom decisions. to make decisions. You know what I'm saying? Early on, and let them know, like, hey, this is this is what you looking into. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you want to make that decision, make that decision. But I'm gonna tell you, like, whatever you do, I'm gonna let you live with that repercussion. Don't add, don't call yeah. on me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like that, but of course not, not no dangerous stuff. But yeah. it start letting them know, like, hey, they, they start building that repetition. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to, and it's not even just like with with women, with with right raising daughters and, and like yeah, sex and stuff like that. Too. But it's just like, bro, these like. I, I had the game a little bit, bro, back in the day. So like, yeah. you can really, you can really have her raised the right way. You know what I'm saying? And and, and it it could be the right person that that that's yeah. her weakness. You know what I'm saying? So it's, yeah. it's tough. It's now, tough. That, ain't nothing wrong with that right there. What you saying? Yeah. But like I'm saying, when you raise raising the kid, you gotta let them bump their head. Facts. Like, if you don't let, if you shelter them away from the world, like now I'm gonna send you to private school. I'm gonna put you over here where it's only you only gonna know twenty people. That's tough. Then you send them to a college. Where they got six thousand people on campus, you ain't nowhere around. They don't know what they don't know what to do. They Facts. don't know really what's right from wrong. Facts. All they know is what's on social media. Right. And then, and then and it's, sometimes that's their first encounter with a lot of that stuff. Yeah. So they they follow. They immediately become followers because they don't know how to lead in that environment. So I'm never gonna tell my you know shut to my kids from doing stuff like that. But I'm just scared of no none of these kids got self love. And I'm talking to the really to the girls in this situation. I mean, even the dudes too, but like, nice. you don't got to post, you don't got to post half naked pit. Like, I was looking at, and I, I applied, I was so like, that shit like, I was like, damn, that's real. Like, I was looking at a dirt uh, girl uh, on uh, her Instagram. She ain't got one naked picture, half naked picture on her whole Instagram. Like, what's wrong with just being you? Like, we don't, you ain't got to every two seconds have a half naked picture to be beautiful. You ain't, you ain't gotta have that. Like your personality, your you know what I'm saying? It gotta be more I'm just talking to the ladies, it gotta be more to you than that. Right. I'm sorry. Like every dude is gonna look like that's just in a dude's nature. Like he's right. gonna like look over at it. But don't nobody don't, don't I don't care what you ask whatever dude you want. Don't no 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 dude won't won't wanna have no shorty where Everybody can click on Instagram and see see her. Yeah, see her naked. I, yeah, that don't define you. And then definitely, I can go no. to the other side with dude. Like they don't, you don't got to be this demon. You ain't got to be this yeah. silly. You ain't got to be this scam. You ain't. Facts. You don't have like just because it's. I think the biggest thing is like com- Like you got to be comfortable being different. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot Facts. of people feel like when they different, oh, they not accepted and stuff like that. Yeah. Like you got to really raise your kid to to, to be embrace that difference, bro. Facts. Because like but, it it'll really turn a, a good apple sour. Facts. But you got to be like. I'm talking to like you want to call yourself a demon, bro. You gotta be a real idiot. <laughs> like, how, like you gotta be really special, bro. To be a, sh- you want to be a shooter for another dude. Like, that's almost 
just weird to me. Like, you willing to risk your life, throw your life away for another dude. Oh, yeah, this is my hitter. Yeah. Yeah, this is my little man. He, you know, he going to do whatever. I give, you know what I'm saying? Give him a couple bucks, you know. Bro, that's lame. And if you were, if you were a uh, older dude doing that, bro, like, why would you do that, bro? Why would you even want to see this young man throw his life away for your beef, though? Like, he's not even throwing it away for nothing. He ain't got nothing to do with it. Yeah, we need. It don't even make sense. Like, we need like, more people. It's, Go ahead. It don't make sense. We need more people that got that got the recipe. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was saying earlier. Like, we got a lot of things that we can talk bad about. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? But we don't never have a way to put an alternative. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. everybody think this, the remedy is to go to school and get a job. Or everything the, the, the remedy is to go get your own business. But it's a lot of stuff, yeah. like, that don't have to do with money, bro. Like, money. like so, like so mental health. Like, looking at what, oh, your, yeah. what, your, what your family deal with. Looking, like, trying to, mm-hmm. trying to self-examine. Like, we don't be having no sauce, bro. We don't have no, yeah. like, no real sauce to get out of that. But, but the thing is, like, Mon- and it's so hard to say, but money almost go hand in hand in it because when you don't got the money, you don't got the resources to 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 do that type of stuff in your community or do that type of stuff with people to get more people to come to you. You got to kind of almost have those resources in place. And it could be a non for profit or whatever it may be, but you got to have those resources in order to do things like that. And I mean, like and money is like the number one leading reason for almost divorce and you know, single parent homes and things like that is because, and, I, and, I, and I've been on both sides of the stick. I mean, me and my girl have been in, together since in college, bro. Like, I didn't have a pot to piss in when we first got to college and we got a whole apartment. I'm trying to make ends meet, get get on the football, back on the football team, still get my schoolwork done, you know, stuff like that. Like, people go through that every day where they might be working, the, the, you know, it might be a two parent household and they only bringing in six, seven hundred dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. I know. I don't know. You know. You ain't. I don't know if you're in a relationship now or, or what you got going on. But like, when you in a relationship and that money low, little petty arguments start. I mean, money can change a lot of stuff in, in, in your in your, in your yeah. surroundings. They say money don't make happiness, but it damn sure make it easier to be yeah. happy. I'm not gonna yeah. lie on that aspect. Of it. I ain't gonna- but money shouldn't be your money shouldn't be like like my job. Like I don't. I, I go to it for the money. But I like doing what I do. So when I get up every morning, I'm not mad. Like, damn, I got to put, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that goes to what you say. People don't know that they got to go get a job and do this. You got to find what you love. But if it can make you some money along the way, you know, that'll help as well. But you got to do something that you love doing. If you go do something you hate every single day, it ain't going to do nothing but tear, tear, tear you, you down, down. inside Destroy out. you. Wow. Yeah, inside inside wow. out, you're going to get miserable, your mental health. And it's gonna take toll on the people around you. You're gonna be lashing out, all that. So I mean, you gotta find something. I agree with you 100. percent You gotta find something you love, but not that money piece. I mean, I feel like that's. I feel like that's like the it's devil's tough. advocate. Yeah, it's tough. It's so tough to Double not have it, and and it's tough to have a lot of it. You know. So I mean, yeah. But yeah, we. But uh, I know. Yeah, we, you know, we wrapping up almost uh on our time of this episode. You want to jump into the Young Dynasty? Oh yeah, let me uh yeah. So we got a we got a group full of uh individuals from the um from the two one nine area, Chicago land area. Um we're gonna start off with uh basically they got the they're an entrepreneur, they're a clothing line. Uh, a couple of but the guys in there, some some people I call my buddies, you know what I'm saying? So uh their motto is uh you know, it's to embrace your hustle and stretching through your, the surface and the empire. Uh their symbol is the lion. Um Kwame Carter is the VP and Chief of Marketing. Uh, Devontae Morrison is the CEO of Young Dynasty. And Joseph is the CEO of Young Dynasty. And basically, he's a group of young individuals. You know, they putting their, they putting their ends together and, and, and pushing a purpose and also uh, pushing a, a, a clothing line. Um, it's, you, can, uh, you can find them on Instagram. I'll attach uh, an app, a couple of apps, and Shaq will do the same so you can find them. But uh, I don't have it off the top of my head right now. But definitely check them out. There's some stand-up dudes, man. They don't... You, they, like that's one of those things where I talk about. You got to look at how people walk. Like they walk is different. You know what I'm saying? They not you. Know, you don't see them in none of that toxicity and none of that. So yeah, when you when you get a group, group full of individuals like that, you got to follow behind them. You got anything facts, else? Facts. We always looking to support. Always looking to support. Um, if you looking for um, if you looking for any type of marketing slots here on our uh, podcast, um, let me or uh, Banks know Instagram, Twitter uh, at Home Team SB. Um, at what is it, 30 game banks? Yes, sir. 
at 30, 30 game Banks. underscore so, banks. Yes, sir. So um, as we grow, we're going to be taking on different marketing spots, local businesses, you know, food restaurants, uh, not for profits, you know, whatever's going on, just reach out to us, man. We can get you uh, set up with a slot. Um, but that's all we got, man. Back from the COVID, man. Back yeah. from heavy uh, bout. So dropping every week, man. <laughs> hey, COVID, the, hey, COVID, the heavyweight champion. <laughs> Lie to you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I have nothing for hey, it. At least y'all broke even, dog. <laughs> I swear, I'm still here. Man. Yes, sir. Uh, everybody be safe. Stay tuned. we coming back with another episode next week. And hey, stay tuned. We might be somebody special on here. You never know. Yes, sir.